What's going on YouTube world? This is your guy Sills the Man and let me tell you something real quick. If he is not standing on business with you, then he is nothing but a customer to you. Thank you for joining my video. Peace and blessings. So I'm just kidding. No, but I'm serious. You know, I was thinking about my two younger nieces. As y'all know, I created this channel for them so that when they become of age, they will understand men uh, a lot more, right, from their uncle. And I was thinking about the things that they're going to go through when they when they start dating and get into relationships and, and trying to understand us, right? And I was thinking like, damn, they go, they probably going to go through a lot of knuckleheads. Because when you're young, you, you're just not mature and developed mentally. So they're going to go through a lot of knuckleheads, right? And, and it kind of just, ugh, just made me cringe just thinking about that. But I feel like everyone has to go through things to understand life and, uh, and gain appreciation and be successful, period. And that's when I thought about that that line I said in the beginning of the video. If he's not staying on business with you, then he is nothing but a customer to you. So let me just talk about businesses real quick. I've been in a corp world for over a decade. So I know a lot about businesses, business structure, corporate culture, all that stuff. And being in this career so long, I understand there's a clear separation between business and customers or the consumer. Businesses run differently than how consumers run. You see, businesses are structures, organizations, companies that have desired goals, quotas, a pathway to success and desired outcome. While on the other hand, customers are more, you know, loose and flexible. They do what they want. They get what they want, when they want, however they want it. And if the customer doesn't want to buy your stuff, then they won't. It's, 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 you see, it's less commitment. Customers and consumers are more free than businesses. Businesses are governed by the government, by higher powers of the land. They have to operate by a set of laws and rules. Customers do not. Customers can do whatever they want. They are free to do whatever they please. Another thing with businesses is that they are goal-driven, mission-driven. They have to meet a certain quota, a certain amount of numbers, a certain amount of sales. They have to reach an achievement at a certain time in order to be successful. Therefore, they must be strict and accurate and serious about their process on the path to success. On the other hand, customers, they ain't gotta worry about none of that. They can window shop. They could go in and out of the businesses without any committal to any path for success. They do what they want. Another thing with businesses is that you have to be on time. But on the other hand, <laughs> customers don't have to worry about none of that. The only thing that customers have to worry about when it comes to being on time is making sure they get there before the business closes. But they can go any time between the opening and the closing. It's up to them. They have free will. Businesses also have a mission statement, right? They have a statement that they echo throughout their whole company to all their employees for their employees to understand Y'all need to understand this mission statement because this is what this company is about. We are about success. And in order to achieve success, you must ingrain this mission statement in your mind. Every time you come to this place, you are going to live by and work by this mission statement as long as you are working for us. So there's already an established mindset and culture when you are an employee of this organization. It's, it's very strict. The only mission statement that customers have is where can I find the best price for this product? Because <laughs> if not, I ain't buying it. Businesses use teamwork to achieve a certain goal. Like, like are you understanding what, what, what I'm trying to get to? The difference between business and consumer and standing on business or being a consumer to the person you're in relationship with? When you are standing on business to the person that you are in a relationship with, it's almost as if you possess the same traits of a business. You are structured. You are professional. You are committed to the mission statement. You have a mission statement. There is something up here that guides your path to success with your partner. You are trying to create something amazing and beautiful that is bigger than yourself, right? Because CEOs and owners, they create businesses, but then eventually the company becomes bigger than them. It becomes bigger than their individual. And that's natural. It's okay. That's what's supposed to happen. Because if it was all about you, it ain't going nowhere. But guess what's all about an individual? The consumer. It's all on them. They don't have to worry about none of the things that businesses worry about. I hope y'all tracking with me right now, all right? We here, we here. <laughs> Another thing when it comes to business and the relationship and the difference between business and consumer and customers is that businesses give product or service for profit. 
while customers or consumers give profit for product. Hopefully my tongue twisted and confused you too much. The goal of a business is to create something, use their talents, skills, labor to give out to the world for profit, for money, for revenue and efforts to build their business even bigger with that profit. And then the cycle continues. Customers use their profit, the money that they make in whatever they do in life from their jobs or their work or their careers to buy product or service from these organizations so that in return, the customer or the consumer feels better about themselves, gets a result from using this product or service that they bought from the company. Even though these two transactions are different from each other, they're the same in a way. They're both giving up something to get something. These are transactional relationships. So there's pros and cons to transactional relationships. Because as we know, as, we, as I've just explained, you are giving something from yourself to something or someone else in hopes of a return. Because the thing is with the business, if they give out product and their services and they don't get profit, that will hurt their bottom dollar. That will hurt their bottom line. That will hurt their company. And the same thing with consumers. But are you in a relationship with someone, a transactional relationship with someone where you're just the only one putting out? and getting nothing in return, where you're just the only one offering your services or products and not getting profit from it. Is your relationship one-sided? Is it a one-way street? Because just like a failing business who doesn't get profit from their products, the same applies to you. You are hurting yourself if you're getting nothing in return. When a man is truly down for you, he's going to stand on business with you. But when a man is not, and when he's using you, he is nothing but a consumer to you. He's taken everything you got with no return. He's asking you for things with no return. Using your car, using your house, using your love, using your energy, using your charity with no ROI, return on investment. You are nothing but a sacrifice to this person. He is a customer to you. If he's not committed to you, he's going in and out of your relationship. Y'all, you see him one day then you don't see him for another three months or something. It's inconsistent. Customers come and go as they please. They come into stores and they don't have to buy anything in that store. They have all the power and free will to do that. And they leave and they go to another store. They go to another business. They go to another woman. They go to another relationship. They go to another man. There is no loyalty to the success of your relationship. Is your man a customer to you? Because let me tell you something about a man who stands with business. He's going to have all these solid and immovable traits of a business because he knows there is a desired goal between y'all two. There is seriousness. He knows in order to achieve something great of greatness with you, things need to be accomplished as the man. He knows this. And for you as a woman, it, this should be evident to you, but will also be evident to you is if you are in a relationship with a customer crazy, right? I'll see y'all in my next video. Thank you for rocking out with me tonight. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.